So, okay, we're here in uh, Nice in the famous hotel Negresco for a uh, charity event, uh, one-day event. Um, what do you think of it? Uh, are you enjoying yourself so far? Uh, yes, it's a very nice event, so thanks for, for the organizers. It's, it's a beautiful place and uh, we are happy to be here with Galia and with the kids and uh, we're going to stay here for, for, for some days to just to have some relax. Have you done already something with, uh, with the kids? Uh, well, I was just uh, giving some autographs, but later on I will I'll give a sim simul and also we'll play some uh, blitz tournaments or something. Okay, nice. And what do you think about the the charity? Oh, well, it's uh, it's always nice, and, yeah, and uh, I don't I don't uh, earn any money here, but uh, uh, but at the same time it's uh, it's good uh, to to be able to help somebody and. Uh, uh, to use like this my chess skills j just to help people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. I also want to ask you, uh, how do you look, ba look back at your uh, your candidates tournament? Uh, it was very difficult uh, event, and I'm still not completely recovered because it's just three days left. And uh, 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 okay, you you know how it was. It it, it was a, a terrible start f for me and. Uh, it was very important to to recover and then uh, then to win one game and I was happy to beat uh, West So and uh, okay it was a, a little bit with his help and then after I won one game then I uh, started to play much better and uh, I won uh, three more games and okay I was at least fighting and feeling uh, much better but basically I, I think that uh, Fabiano deserved to win the tournament so it was. Like okay, uh, okay, I was upset, of course, but uh, but the but the but the, but the result was quite fair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the crucial moments, of course, was when you you missed this uh, H3 check uh, versus Ding. Uh, did you have a feeling that you maybe you, you maybe could outplay him with that uh, knight against bishop uh, position? Uh, I I thought that it's objectively equal, but uh, from the practical point of view, uh, only white can fight in this position, but. Uh, but after I blundered terribly, I was quite quite lucky to have a draw. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's funny that uh, that uh, uh, I showed that uh, white position was so so solid that even after blundering two pounds, uh, <laughs> it was still a draw. So I mean, so from the beginning, white of course doesn't have any risk. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, yeah, uh, Fabia Fabiano ended up winning this time. Um, how do you see his chances against Magnus? Uh, it's a difficult question, of course, but I have a feeling that uh, if he will be in a good form, like in the candidates, then he will have uh, good chances. So it's, it's actually very much depends on his form, because okay, in January he played very badly in Vaikanze, but uh, then he clearly worked and uh, he, uh, he, he was already much, much stronger in uh, in the candidates, so if he'll be like in the candidates, then he has chances. Mm -hmm. Of course, you played the previous match against Magnus. Do you have like uh, one one piece of advice for Fabiano? <laughs> well, he didn't ask me, but uh, if he will, then why not? I I can give him some advices. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, what is next for you? Uh, you you're gonna relax a little bit in Nice, and then? Uh, yeah, and then uh, I'll I will play in Shamkir, and then probably Norway Chess, and then Grand Chess Tour. So. There are actually many tournaments, and uh, there is no much time to relax. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks a lot for your comments. Thank you.